everyone, I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com and for today's topic, we're gonna talk about hair swirls. So, someone sent me a list of questions regarding all pertaining to the topic of the swirls basically on the back of your head. So, I thought this was interesting and a fun one to do, so I'll go ahead and get started. It says, Lynn, can you answer these questions regarding hair swirls? I'd like to know the intuitive answers. What, if any, is the multi-dimensional significance of the direction, be it clockwise or counterclockwise. Again, this is how the hair grows uh, on the top of your head here. And you know, first of all, great question. When I focus on this, I get the tighter the swirl, the smaller the circular pattern, the more sensitive the person is. So in my mind, I see that many people have some type of a slight swirl, but those with very distinct very tight circular spirals look to be more sensitive. And the image that came to me was really cute as I was trying to understand this because I saw this barber and he was given someone a, a buzz cut and he had clippers and he had to go in every direction because as he was trying to clip, it was like he couldn't get all the hairs because it was all just in all these erratic different patterns. I also got that with regard to intuitive ability, the direction itself doesn't matter. It's really more about the tightness of the swirl, not the direction or anything else. Uh, then they wanted to know, is there a propensity for hand dominance correlated with, with the direction of the swirl? And if so, why is that? And yes, I did get that there is some correlation between that. that more right-handed people have a clockwise swirl and left-handed people have a counterclockwise swirl. Swirl. I also got that their dominant hand didn't create the swirl, but it's more vice versa. So as I saw this, a person that's born with more, maybe an analytical mind, they're more um, typically right-handed, that type of stuff, they, they look like they had a counterclockwise swirl and people that are more artistic, they looked to be more left-handed and have the counterclockwise swirl. So when we're born, we already have the personality imprinted in our being. We kind of know life path. We have some things that are slightly laid out for us. Yes, free wills in, in there, but regardless, we, we have a personality that is part of us. And this hair swirl is almost like a tell sign of what that person is going to be, or almost like a clue into what kind of interest they may have, or um, what life may, I guess, tug at them to want to do. And I see that a person that's more right brain has different parts of the brain firing when compared to a left brain counterpart and that stimulation within the brain affects the hair pattern. So it has to do with brain function as well, um, played a role into this hair growth and, and how it was all being played out. So then this person also wanted to know, what about people that have two? For example, this person's daughter has two that are about a half inch apart and they form what appears to be an infinity symbol yet both go clockwise. So I got just in that and understanding that in the visuals that I had that she's going to be analytical. She may be drawn to medicine or engineering. She's gonna be very curious how things work and have a great mental aptitude for spatial concepts. She may at times feel challenged in communicating her ideas, but she's gonna eventually work through it and she's gonna have a lot of talent to nurture. So really interesting reading. I've not ever really thought about this topic. So that's what I love about the blog, all these cool topics that, that I get to look at. So if you have something you want me to look at, by all means, send it over to me. Uh, again, thanks for listening. If you have questions or comments, please leave them below. And again, I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com. Thanks, bye.